Hello, I am Eli G. Brown, Slayer Sonic Jr. and Sarah, and this is another custom Thomas and Friends character. This is Mushi. Now, if you remember back in 2007 and 2008, and 2009 even, you may remember Felix Chang, also known as Alex Kohi Fan, and currently today, Thomas in DBZ 2010. If you remember, um, when he, on his first two accounts, he did this series called Thomas and Friends New Engine Slideshow Series, which basically was just um, a series of made-up characters which used pictures of uh, trains that he found on the internet and just recolored them. Now, I know some people are going to say that that is a bad thing, but it's not. Anyway, this is based upon a character from the first uh, New Engine Slideshow series that he has done. And this is Mushi, the gold uh, engine who works on the Sodor and Mainland Railway. Now, quite a long time ago, I did a merchandise video showing this character um, using Edward as the base character. And this is my old Wooden Railway Edward. Uh, I got a new one that is more modern, uh, you've seen that in another video, and, well, here are a couple of complications that I had with this one. Um, well, first of all, I, um, what was quite aggravating with spray painting is that whenever I lay a, uh, an object down that I'm spray painting, and then after I let it dry and I pick it up, a chip comes off from the part that was facing down. And that was quite aggravating. I tried not to let that happen, but no matter how hard I tried, it happened anyway. But I figured out how to keep that from happening by putting some tape over the uh, bit that uh, needed to be uh, taken, uh, taken off, like just uh, put tape on top of the part where the chip would come off, so it wouldn't come off. Um, so, I may do a video showing exactly how I do the spray painting in the future, but let me go over uh, how I did this character. Well, first of all, I painted the body and the tender gold uh, with gold spray paint. Uh, uh, I put some tape over the parts that I did not want uh, to have gotten painted, which I always do, such as covering the uh, coal bunker, covering up the uh, lower part, uh, the magnets, and the, uh, the face in the front of the boiler, and even the, uh, the roof uh, on the cab. Now, um, you probably can't see it on the camera, but I can see it uh, from, uh, above the camera, that, uh, the, uh, you can, there are still a bit of blue, uh, bits left over from the original color. I could not get, uh, the entire, uh, get everything spray painted because there was tape, uh, covering it. I just wanted to, uh, have the, uh, coal bunker be, uh, uh, left out, so, uh, so it would not get spray painted, because, uh, who would want to have gold coal? And then, pretty much after the, uh, spray painting was done, I took, uh, a red Sharpies marker, and I did the, uh, lining here. I used a thinner Sharpies marker to put the lining onto here, because Mushi's, uh, lining is red and then put some lining over on the cab here, and I also put his name on the side of the cab right here. It, it appeared in the video that the names are on the side of the uh, cab. So I remember a long time ago I asked Felix Chang if they were on the side, though he claimed that they were actually on the boiler, but in the picture it looked like they were on the cab. Anyway, 
After doing that, I also put some lining onto the uh, tender, like over here and over on this side too. It may look a bit sloppy because I can't always be so steady and you can also, uh, well, maybe you can't see it, but I can. Uh, there's a little bit of uh, sloppiness over on this side too. Um, and then uh, I used the black Sharpies marker to put the windows on. Uh, on the side. Um, didn't do any on the front here, because Thomas Wooden Railway Trains don't ever do that anyway. And then took a, a wider, uh, a wider Sharpies mark and put a red number 7 on each side of this tender, because he is number 7 for the Sodor and Mainland Railway. So that's it. That is Mushi, the uh, a custom Thomas Wooden Railway character, a character from Felix Chang. Um, really wish that he was still making the videos that he made a long time ago, but he stopped doing that sadly. So anyway, thank you for watching, and uh, be sure to look out for more reviews. And please. Sign the petitions that appear at the end of the video. Please don't skip them. Don't just stop playing the video here and just ignore those petitions. They are really important to me, so please look over those petitions. So, yeah. Um, well, that's it. I'll talk to you again next time.